Welcome to Osaka. I look slightly deflated in this intro. It's, this is not my first tango with this one. I've done it three times because Caitlin stuffed up the audio. We have to have this discreet tiny one. That's, all she has to do is turn it on and she constantly forgets to turn it on. Anyway, enough rambling. This is Shinzakai. It's spelled S-I-N-S-E-K-A-I, -S but there's a silent H in there. People say Shinzakai. So there you go, a little fun fact with Prado. Um, they built this before the war, as I believe, in 1912, that sort of time. They built it, this was their idea of what the future would look like. And I've walked up and down it once, and I would say they absolutely nailed it. Killed it. So I don't, I was saying to Kate, I don't really know like if they, if Tokyo and that have modeled themselves off this, or like, they just nailed it. I don't know, it looks really, it's so cool walking down there. I would say, without a doubt, they nailed it, hey. They absolutely nailed it. Look at this tower. So keen to come back and check this out tonight when it's all dark and it's all lit up. That's gonna look so cool. It's crazy how they knew that future Japan was gonna build things protruding from their shops. Because in Tokyo you see like the, the crab and we've got dumplings somewhere. Dragon Ball Z, so that's why. What's he doing? What are you doing? You just totally failed. Have we gotta pick this up. Why do you think it's the writing board? Why do you think that? For reference, what is it? Eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock at night, and this is what you're dealing with. When we we're here earlier, I thought, oh, we'll come down a bit later when it's not as many people, but it just seems to have gotten busier. It's still a really cool street. We're going shopping in the Japanese supermarket. What are you buying? By the way, we're fully aware that if there is one leading contributor to the plastic in the world, it's here. Everything is plastic. It's your ice cream. What ones have you been getting, Shami? They're like a soft serve. So we got carrot juice, grape tea, lemon tea, orange juice. How good do these look? They're huge. How much are they? Seventy-eight. I'm eating a giant grape. Mm. 
It's not the grapes fault. I chewed my mouth all night while I was sleeping. So I've got a big huge sore on the side of my mouth. So it's the sour squirty juices that keep hitting the, my sore. <laughs> but these are good so. <clears throat> I do have a tiny bit of a weird taste, like <laughs> what is happening? This is gonna sound so dumb, but I just realised what they taste like. They they actually have a taste of wine. Like, taste it. You try it. No. No, please. It tastes a little bit like wine. Red wine. Oh, it's really zoomed in. Go. Yeah, this is the biggest crack I've ever... Do you taste the wine? Like, usually grapes don't taste like wine. Do you know what I mean? I'm just shocked at the, the sheer size. Not a fan. Oh, yeah, why? too sweet. That's mm. not how red grapes should taste. No way. Red grapes are supposed to be like a bit better. Mm-mm. You can't stop. One more. Put it away. Good morning. This is our vending machine out the front of our room. This is cold, the blue. Red is hot. I'm gonna go for hot today. I'm gonna go for the hot coffee. Put me in. Can't feel it, but it's hot. See, Braden. Ow! Thanks for that. <laughs> and Braden's gonna have a um, a cold, so he's gonna get from the blue one. Yeah. <laughs> what one was it again? This one. That'll do it. Yeah. Put you in. Are you going to touch me with that one too? And this one's cold. Th yeah, thanks. Yep, it is cold. Hot and cold. That was great. I enjoyed that, eh? <laughs> thing is that you found this on the last day here in Japan. I mean I'd probably be really fat if I drank one every day, but I have been eating this off soap every day. <laughs> so maybe this would have been better to find. Hello, hello. Welcome. It's our last full day in Japan. So we have come to Nara Park, which is where you can find all the deer. And you can go up to them and feed them and they're really cute so we caught about an hour train here from Osaka we we're very late we slept in today but it's a beautiful day the sun's out mm. and it's a lovely day for a stroll in the park really 
Yeah, we've actually had a stellar day. It's been an incredible day. Found a good lunch. Found a great vegan lunch. Uh, you know, Osaka was delicious. And now we're just out strolling in the park in Nara. Yeah. In Nara. And we'll probably uh, stay here till sunset, then head back to Osaka and spend the night money. there in the heart of the city. And then that's it. We um, have a travel day tomorrow, so cool. This is getting heavy. Bye. Here's a fun fact for you. This is a five story pagoda, second highest in Japan. It goes up to 50 meters. What's the tallest? Do you reckon it was Hokkenji? I reckon this is bigger than Hokkenji. Oh, it's heaps bigger than Hokkenji. This, obviously, this wide angle lens is not doing it justice. It's huge. So apparently they bow, this species of deer. We haven't had a go at it yet, so let's see if we can get them to bow at us. This one's coming at me. Hello. I don't have any food for you. I don't have food. Don't bite me. Hello. You just don't know if they're going to bite you or not. Come on. They don't bow. It's a myth. experience we've been here for a couple of hours now um, there are so many deer and it's quite a big park just a nice big space for the deer to wander around they seem pretty free like they're not fenced in um, they are fenced off from the road but it looks like they can whoa this one's coming at me and it's got horns so I don't know how I feel about the ones at all it's okay. Yeah, they're pretty free to roam around. There are fences stopping them from going on the road, which is good, but I feel like they could go into the wild if they wanted, which is nice. Um, a lot of the males have their horns chopped off, which is a little bit sad, but I can see why. It's like for safety. Like, it's pretty scary if, like, you got one coming at you. Yeah, we've seen a few that, like, charred. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice. They're very cute. We haven't really fed them yet. You'd think there'd be lots of stands with the crackers, but we only saw one stand with crackers. So if you want to feed them, get the crackers from the entry, because I thought there'd be like heaps of vendors with crackers, but there wasn't. This is, I guess, like the main drag where you would come in Osaka. It's a river. It's called Dodonbori. Um, yeah, it's on the river, it's on the neon lights, it's a big Ferris wheel. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We'd be more excited. We spent all our money, and now we got to sort of... Yeah, we're a bit hangry because we spent all our cash and we can't get cash out because we need a special card to do that if we left at home. Bingo. So we're a bit screwed. Brady, do you feel better now that we've eaten? Why? 
Oh, well, like the third was good. But it was way overpriced for what it was. Like, I got a what, margarita pizza, it was like this big. And one glass of beer. Apparently got, like... Look, I'm just going to say it was a can of spaghetti. No, it was good, but it was small. And then, uh, one, like, cocktail. That, that was 65 bucks, like Australian. Yeah. So we're in the search of food. Dessert. We've already, already blown the budget completely and utterly. Anyway, let's do a more positive review. So, Bray, we've eaten now. We're feeling a little bit better. And we've come to the huge Ferris wheel. I don't know if you'd call it a Ferris wheel. This thing, we've got no cash. We can't go up there. But... It's huge. Actually, I would say it's higher than 50 metres, don't you think? 100%. Like, that, apparently that pagoda today is 50 metres. Yeah, maybe it's like 100 metres. It's huge. And these little circle things are carriers of people. What do you call them? Car like carousel. Uh, the carousel? No. Carriage. Carriage. Alright, but we like the river of Osaka, don't we, Bray? It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like a... Yeah, you don't know. Over there is a giraffe, and that's a nightclub. It's going off. Lots of people going by on boats, waving at us. So you can get on one of these boats and have a go. It's quite nice. There's a big wide shot for you. There you go. Oh, I see a soft serve. Let's go get one. Oh no, we don't have any monies. Oh no, we've got credit card. Okay, no end. No one wants to accept. Bye. Yeah. Time to kill before our flight doesn't leave till 7.30 tonight. So we came to the last sightseeing spot in Osaka, which is Osaka Castle. So it looks very grand, very pretty. We'll show you around. Bye. I get it, I sell my drone. Total waste of time taking it anywhere. Damn boy. Brand. I honestly thought that this would be like heaps lame, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, yeah. So this is Osaka Castle, and we just learned that it was built back in the 16th century by a samurai warlord. He built it because he had just successfully unified Japan after decades of a civil war. So it's really quite a nice symbol of um, power and peace because after it was built, Japan had a period of peace, so it's quite nice. to be a photographer. This is Ben Braden's monologues. You're welcome. Do you reckon on top? Right up mm, there. Do you reckon that's actually like a statue of him? The thing on the top? That's not a human. What is it? It's like a creature. What kind? It's like a fish. It's like a koi fish. Oh, I can't see that far. Leave me alone. Kate, I've just worked out that 
the little statue thing at the top I was talking about is the same on every level. So it's not him, it's not a person, it's like a fish. Yeah. I told you that it was a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just eight one. <laughs> what is this clip? <laughs> it hurts. I prefer like just monologuing than being in front of the camera. Yeah, you're it's good way fun. You're a good monologuist. They're going again with the photos. I already took that photo for them. When I say this is a soccer castle, just point the camera there. My face doesn't have to be in it the whole time. Okay. Sorry. My point is, Kate's cranky. She's always cranky. She will forever be cranky. But it's alright. Because I married her. <laughs> <laughs>